So every morning I start off with having a cup of tea. I normally have some kind of herbal tea that's loose leaf and I buy from Dr. Morris. However, this morning I have run out and I have this in my stash. It is a lean green tea that I bought, I think, from Home Foods. So I have a half a lemon in my cup and I put my tea bag in here. And I have some water that I have already boiled. Do this all the time. Okay. And this will be the way that I make my fats from the night before. So um, every day, about an hour after drink my teas, when I break my fast, I have to eat some food. Um, but this is pretty much what I go to. If it's too hot outside, then I will do a little lemon water and cayenne pepper mixture that I will drink instead of tea. But right now it's not really hot yet, so I'm doing my tea. Right, so for breakfast, I'll have this whole watermelon. I'll put it up and I'll probably snack on it for a couple of hours. So this is what breakfast looks like for us. Brave and I are going to share this whole bowl of watermelon. And then a couple of hours from now, we'll probably have another one. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> so we normally would eat about three or four watermelons a day when it's when there's in season. Because I think that's probably our favorite fruit throughout the house. And um, we now have to be breakfast and a snack throughout the day for us. Oh, you're not toothless anymore. Finally. <laughs> cool. I can't call you toothless. I hate to have fruit so I can eat wild ones. You can, you can have that big enough. I don't know if you can guys see as much as I can see, but let me show you something super nasty. I went ahead and started on my salad that I'll have for lunch and soaked some of the tomatoes as I was going to use um, in, I guess, five minutes before I started and the water has turned this nasty yellow. Look, let's see. Look, let me, let me show you. Can you see this? It is super nice. Guys, it's time for me to have my lunch and I'm having a salad that I'll probably share with Brayden again. Um, Alex is not a big salad guy, so I'll probably have to fix him something else to eat. So here is what I'm gonna have for, that goes into my salad. Just lettuce, romaine lettuce, and some cabbage and carrots that goes in there. I am going to do a little bit of nuts that I used from the Go Raw Salad Topper Nuts. The boys absolutely love those. They can just eat them as a snack. And I'm also gonna put the cranberry ones that I ordered from um, iHerb, I think. And so this is that mixture that's gonna go in my salad. I'm gonna have a little bit of onion, lime, and jalapeno. And I'm going to mix all the avocados in and make a little guacamole, probably just add a couple of garlic cloves to that. And the boys like to dip the guacamole in the tomatoes. So some of that would actually go into the salad. So what I do is I normally mix it all in together and I do not use um, any kind of dressing. What I do is the guacamole mixture that I, um, I mix together, I just add a little bit of salt, garlic, lemon, lime, or whatever I have on hand, and pepper. And I, probably about, let's see, out of the four avocados, I'll use half an avocado for my portion of the salad and about two avocados for Brayden. He likes it a little more creamy than I do. And that mixture would be my so-called dressing. Sometimes, I'm not sure that we've, today will be one of those times, Brayden likes me to mix some mustard with vinegar. I know, it does not sound appealing, but he likes that. 
and I add a little bit of oil and he uses that as a dipping tomato cucumber sauce. So if he wants that today, I'll go ahead and add it on, but I am not having it with my salad. I don't necessarily care for it. So after braiding, pour some of his, my half salad out. This is what I was left with. So I'll probably add a little bit more if I'm not all the way full yet. But this is what I'm going to have for lunch. And I put a little more spice than I wanted to, but it's still really good. I'm a sucker for salads. So it's Brady. You don't think there's enough salt in there? No. There no. Is there's none. none. Well, maybe there is, but I don't. I don't well, it tastes. Well, like well, one. well, well. Hey, so it has been about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, since I ate my salad, and I was a little bit hungry when I finished eating, since Brady ate so much of it but I didn't want to make another salad. So what I decided to do is wait a little while so that way, that's, that way I'm not combining improper food groups um, and wanted to do a little bit either watermelon or cantaloupe. Alex said if she would like to do some cantaloupe with me. So that's what I'm going to have for a snack. And I'll probably have maybe half of this. So maybe this side for me and the rest will be for Alex. I'm not that hungry. I just need a little snack. So I'll cut that up. I like to get the little seeds out with a spoon. I know some people like to eat them. I personally do not. Okay, so I am cutting up the rest of the cantaloupe. And here we are. That will be our snack. My last snack for the night. Maybe, maybe not, because I haven't had supper yet. So I just took some of grapes, some grapes that I have bought. And the nasty water in this too. Look at it. What is it with the nasty water and everything? Okay. So I'm gonna rinse those and bring those for me and the boys to snack on. Probably gonna have the rest of those in a little bit. And I'll see you guys at dinner. So it is my last meal for the evening and I will have a smoothie just because it's been hot. I've been running chores and that little rabbit that we got has been <laughs> quite an adventure today. So um, real quick, two cups of strawberries. I just buy them and freeze them. I have about six bananas in here. Alex is gonna put all that in. And I'll add a little bit of water. I'm not gonna put all that in. I'm just probably going to put one half of that because I like more of a creamy, ice creamy consistency as opposed to more of a smoothie consistency. So we're gonna get started with that. Good job, Alex. Let's fill it up, throw some water up. And I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of maca powder. I absolutely love maca powder. It gives me all the extra energy that I need. I don't drink coffee. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, you need a big help? Perfect. Mommy. All right, well that's about a half. You like how it smells? You wanna eat it? Well, you can have some. Mm-hmm, you can have some. Perfect. Is it good? Nah, not good that way. All right. A little more so we can make it one full tablespoon. Perfect. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't have to be a full tablespoon. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Hi, Brandon. All right, so we'll do two tablespoons of the Super Food Green Bland. Okay, that's a full tablespoon. Oh, okay. Even it out. Perfect. All right, that's one tablespoon. Can we do another one? Mm -hmm. such a big help. Oh, I guess your legs are hungry too. Perfect, and my hands, <laughs> put it back in. Oh. Perfect, all right, can you add some water? Mm -hmm. Let me see, got half, half of that? Something that sounds really good. It's the maca powder. Why is it called a maca powder? Um, it's a root. I'm not sure where the word originated. That's enough. Thank you. Ah. All right. Oh, you want some water? All right. Um, I'm barely jotting up to uh, uh, reach 
see the camera. We are. Like some coconut flakes and some. No. No, no coconut flakes. What about the cow needs? Yep. Yep, the cow needs is okay. Those are the cow That is right. Those are the cow needs. So, what I normally do in my smoothie, I add some coconut flakes that I normally buy in a bigger pack from Amazon. And I just keep them refrigerated. So happen to have just an empty jar, so I just put it in the refrigerator. And then the cacao sweet nibs. Ah, okay, so I'm gonna go into cacao nibs. The first time that I try them, they were not the sweet kind, and it was not the best tasting food that I've had. But I bought the sweet ones, and they were really, 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 really tasty. That's the sweet ones. That is the sweet ones. They're still very tart and sour or bitter, rather. But whenever you do them with the smoothie, the sweet, they do turn out really good. So what I'll do on top of mine is I'll cut up some bananas. Would you like some bananas too? Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Banana on my smoothie banana syrup syrup I like. You would like some bananas and syrup? That's another snack that Alex likes to have a lot. On the smoothie. Oh really? Okay, we can try that. Um, we would like just three or four bananas and we'll put some maple syrup on it and voila. And this is what my smoothie looks like. Let's eat it, I am finished. Go outside and eat. My afternoon snack is a smoothie, similar to what Alex had earlier, but um, actually instead of peaches, added strawberries and a little bit of coconut and cacao nibs and some bananas on top. What I'm gonna do for today, nice warm cup of hibiscus tea. It is actually very flavorful and it's getting a little bit cooler outside. Normally, if I, not, I don't have the tea, I would have just water with lemon. For more tips on what I do, why I do it, and the reasons behind it all, please comment and go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, bye guys.